Let's uh, shift our focus to Modi Power Push uh, exclusive broadcast. It's a jam-packed uh, day for the Prime Minister today. Remember today being day three of his uh, week-long U.S. visit. Now from gifting Gandhi Solar Park to United Nations uh, to the honour he is set to receive by the Gates Foundation. There's a lot on cards today. But the key highlight on day three, that is today, would be this another round of meeting. But this time it's going to be the closed-door meeting between the two one of the undoubtedly most two popular leaders of the leading and the largest democracies respectively, Prime Minister Modi and U.S. President tonight in New York. In fact, Republic TV continues to lead the broadcast. Our editor Niranjan Narayan Swami has filed this uh, report in New York. Let's take a look. We are uh, broadcasting live from the Times Square and uh, in a few hours from now here in New York, the Prime Minister is expected to meet US President Donald Trump. Now, it's significant because uh, the government has uh, said on record that uh, the Prime Minister will be talking about trade issues with Donald Trump and uh, this is coming on the back of the strategic response to terrorist and violent uh, extremist narratives and uh, the statement that uh, the government has been making uh, about counter-terrorism efforts that will be taken uh, undertaken by both uh, US and India in the back of uh, the Houston event where the Indian Prime Minister uh, spoke to Donald Trump and uh, both of them made one statement that as far as uh, combating terrorism is concerned uh, they will have to work together and that they have a common goal to tackle terror. Now all of these uh, you know, points will feature in the talks between Donald Trump and, uh, US President, and, and uh, the US President and uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Now the, that meeting is scheduled to take place at about uh, 12 p.m. And uh, that's in a few hours from now. Uh, but here in Times Square, of course, uh, the focus will be uh, on, on, on the UNGA and all the heads of state. Let me tell you one thing, that uh, for the next six days, uh, all of Manhattan is going to be uh, blocked, chock-a-blocked, because all the heads of state are, are, are living in this uh, part of town, uh, which means that... Uh, uh, there will be a lot of delays and we've been trying to get from point A to point B and it's taking us, uh, you know, nothing less than 45 minutes. So we had to take a long walk to Times Square from where we are living, uh, where we are uh, staying. And uh, that is why uh, I have to tell you a couple of things regarding what the Prime Minister has planned tomorrow. Because the, as far as the Prime Minister's itinerary goes, a uh, couple of things that he has, uh, that, uh, that, that he will, he, a couple of events rather that he will be a part of, uh, including the state luncheon for heads of state of the 74th UNGA hosted by the UN Secretary General uh, at about 3.30 uh, local time here. The India Pacific Islands leaders meeting at 6.30. There is an event uh, to commemorate uh, the Mahatma the Gandhi at 1.50 event is at 6.30 local time or 4pm. Uh, 4pm 4 4 India time and at 8 o'clock local time here or roughly uh, roughly 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m. in India, the Prime Minister will be conferred with the Goalkeepers Global Goals Awards 2019 by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Now, this is what the Prime Minister has lined up uh, on Tuesday and uh, it will be a packed day for him because starting 12 o'clock when uh, he has a meeting with, uh, with President Donald Trump, uh, he will, of course, uh, go on to uh, you know, be a part of that luncheon at uh, the UN, UN General Assembly where he will meet all heads of state and uh, his day will end with uh, by, by being conferred by the Melinda Gates Foundation. Now, that's uh, Tuesday, but of course the focus will also be on, on, on uh, the build-up to the UN General Assembly uh, where the Prime Minister will be speaking in a few days from now. Uh, going by what happened today, when uh, Donald Trump met Imran Khan, he saw the body language, complete snub that was given uh, by the US President and, uh, and, and there were several statements also made and uh, the manner in which uh, Donald Trump also re responded uh, to some of the reporters who asked him questions, uh, you know, questions on, on Kashmir, uh, telling you the story of, uh, of how the global order is, is changing. And I can tell you one thing, that there, is, there has been a big impact because of the Houston event. And even, even the Consul General here has, has made a statement this evening that uh, the Houston Howdy Modi event uh, took ties uh, to greater heights. So all of these factors weighing in on, on a diplomatic uh, Super Tuesday here when uh, the Prime Minister meets Donald Trump and both of them, uh, you know, while, while speaking in Houston, uh, said that they had to meet and thrash things out. Both of them call each other tough negotiators. Tough negotiators because uh, they have, uh, they have uh, several uh, thorny issues pending between them, including trade, 
Uh, trade is something that they will have to thrash out in the next couple of days, and uh, they, they will be hoping to meet uh, some sort of uh, uh, make, make some sort of a headway uh, when they meet today. Now, another thorny issue between uh, both countries, which of course uh, uh, they haven't been speaking in public lately, is on the S-400 missiles, uh, the Russian missiles, a Russian anti-missile system that uh, that India uh, has acquired. Uh, America has had, had issues with that. A similar problem that Turkey also faces. So. On the back of uh, these developments, uh, all eyes will be on, 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 on the kind of, uh, the kind of uh, narrative that comes out of, uh, of this meeting.